Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to the Talos Principle. Today, well, today, previously, <laughs> uh, we have finished number one completely. We have almost finished number two, which we are still missing uh, the star and I'm still waiting for you guys to point me in the right direction. Otherwise, I will be, well, I will probably need to spend quite a while in there. And number three, we finished completely. So today, it's time for number four. And in here, we have four sigils, one star, and we will utilize our uh, tool, which we acquired in episode two, I think. Yeah, it was in episode two. So, ready for it? Let's get in! These worlds, and we within them, are made of words. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. We are... a story. Your actions give life to the story, and the story gives meaning to your life. Um, okay, I have no idea what he's talking about, but yeah, okay, fine, so let's see, uh, it's just, yeah, again, feel free to pause it, and as always, I will put the hexa code into actual normal text for you, so you can read it how, how is it supposed to be. Oh. Okay, this will be a little bit <laughs> bit more work. Okay. All right. So nothing really that much interesting. So, I guess the puzzles are upstairs. So, let's let's first things first. Let's look at here. If there is maybe some maybe a star hidden or something like that. This is interesting. I think the falling down is not a good idea. It really feels like there should be something hidden anyway, uh, somewhere in here. Oh, 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 crap. Okay, let's try it once again. And let's be a little bit safer about it. Uh, should he? Yeah. It really doesn't seem like there will be something. But it's, it's, well, we can explore around and see. Oh, oh, oh. This one is a little bit harder, so maybe there is something. Or maybe not. No, I don't want to fall down again. Do you think I can make the jump? Uh -huh. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, uh, what? Where? Where? I am? Am I going? Actually, I have no idea. One second. I remember reading something about. An Easter egg near some glyphs, maybe? I doubt I can go down. I, mean, I can. No, I can't. Okay. Can't go down there. So let's just run. Let's just leg it around quickly. This. Here we go. And let's see what's up here. Hey! I to go up. Uh, it doesn't seem like there is anything of interest. 
Or maybe I'm just blind and there is something really cool. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there is anything around here. Okay, I just wasted a few minutes in here. So let's reset to the beginning. Yeah, if you press uh, Y on uh, your gamepad, it will reset the world. Uh, or you can press and if you are not using gamepad, it's X to reset. <coughs> okay, so let's go and do the puzzles. And let's start... Out. What the heck? Behold, I am Elohim, and I speak unto the darkness. Be gone. Okay. Access data cleared. Oh, okay. Whatever. This area, it's it's just huge. And sometimes I really don't know where I am. Well, I know where we are supposed to go. It's quite simple, we just need to find puzzles. But, oh, hello! Recording number 23 from version 0186. And goodbye, okay. What else? It's just huge. And looking for, I don't know. Is it really worth exploring? I heard that it is worth exploring because of the really, they say, awesome uh, easter eggs. But it's just too big to explore on camera. So what I think I will do, I will uh, explore it and in the end of this episode I will show you the uh, interesting places I will be able to find, if I will be able to find them. So, okay, let's start with the first one, and it's this one. Push it further. Okay, so we have this uh, receptacle, or whatever, and over there. So probably uh, when we do something with this, it will open it. Okay. So if I will go in here... We have this guy, which is the uh, kinda, I don't know how to call it, um, generator. Yeah, it's kind of generator. And how this works is, uh, these guys are called connectors. And basically, we want to connect it, and there we go. And it will make a line between the uh, generator and the connector. Now I can take the second connector, I will connect it to this one and this one and place it down in here and it will open up that is really simple okay and i don't think i saw any secret in here yeah next one is this one okay let's go for this one branch it out <coughs> So we have a sigil over there. Oh, force field over here. Yeah, so... Huh. I can't get to it, but I can connect it. And uh, this uh, little Morse code line uh, means that it, it is connected. It is connected, but it doesn't... It's not receiving uh, the beam. So what I can do is take it, it will close everything, but I can say, okay, connect to this, 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 and that connector upstairs. And there we go. We can have unlimited connections on one connector, which is awesome. And now I can just run here and pick the sigil. And we can open up another tool, the box. The boxy box. Okay, again, I don't seem to see anything hidden in here. So let's continue to the next puzzle. 
And so far, no... Oh, what's there? So far, none of these uh, stars. What is this? The answer that came oh, to me again and again okay. was play. Every human society in recorded history has games. We don't just solve problems out of necessity. We do it for fun. That's true. Even as adults. Leave a human being alone with a knotted rope, and they will unravel it. Leave a human being alone with blocks, and they will build something. Games are part of what makes us human. We see the world as a mystery, a puzzle, because we've always been a species of problem solvers. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's a good point, actually, yeah. So that's what makes us human. Problem solving and playing. And I'm just scouting around for no real reason. Okay, so let's go to the next one. <coughs> Don't cross the streams! Anyone? Ghostbusters? Do, 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 do. Ghostbusters! No? Okay. So here you can see we have two types of beams. Red one and blue one. And if they will uh, connect or intersect, they will block each other. So that's pretty much what we don't want. Oh yeah, and you, we can block the, block the laser just by standing it, stay standing in it. As you can see, the line uh, is red, uh, black, so it's saying it's obstructed. So yeah, we need to power both ones. So what we can do about it? So we can say, uh, screw you both. And we have this nice looking place behind. So in theory, yeah, this should work. So what I will do is I will connect this to uh, the blue generator and I will take it in here. Also, as you can see uh, below the connect letters, uh, connect the word, uh, there are symbols. And this and the symbol on the right side uh, is currently a little bit uh, grayed out. That means it will not connect to something. So the symbol on the left is white. It means uh, it will connect to that and it's uh, the uh, receptacle and the uh, stuff on the right side is the generator or beam ejector or whatever you want to call it and it's grayed out which will which means that it will not connect but if we I will move in here it will so I can do this oh there are two holes Whenever I despair, I remind myself that the, at the end of this great pilgrimage lies life in the eternal memory of the designer. I need no further motivation. <coughs> A lifetime spent solving the puzzles in this place would be one which missed everything of value in it. But we must remember that others will tread this path. And we must leave it better signposted than when we found it. Okay. Okay, so now I can co easily connect this to the red one. Oops. And there we go. Opened. And, oh, looks like a fan will be op uh, unlocked next. Awesome. And again, I don't see anything hidden in here. So again, no star. And there is only one star, if I remember correctly. So maybe the star will be in the last level this one so let's get in and let's see above all of that okay, it doesn't seem like there is anything in here okay so again we are we have the cross beams in here which we need to solve we have some elevation over there which we can use in our advantage So, I can, what I think I can do is, 
Actually, leave this in here. I can take this one. Ah. Okay, I can see the blue one, so I will do this. I will connect it uh, on elevated space. I will take this one. And I will connect this to that guy over there. And hopefully the red beam will go below it. And it will not intersect. Awesome! So, this area has been solved. Kinda solved. Now we need to find the uh, the stuff, the star, which will be fun. The female voice that speaks from the album artist, it speaks with a different tone to the other wretches in this place. Okay. So now it's time to find uh, the star. So it's not inside any of the puzzles, or maybe it is and I just missed it. But well, we can at least explore a little bit. I don't think it will be... Well, I mean, ah. In most cases the star is hidden in the... Uh, part where you need to solve something, so it will not be just under the rock. That's not how it works. So where you are at? Shall we go through those, through the puzzles again? Just in case we missed something? Oh yeah, why not? I said it. Okay, so we need somehow red in here. Problem is, we have only blue one in here. So, what shall we do with that? We need to get red somehow in here. But how? Well, we can use uh, other parts of the whole map. So where was the red one? Uh, did we had red one in here? Uh, no, we had only blue one, so this is not the right place. Red one was in here, yes. So this was the one of the red ones. So we need to maybe get the beam somehow there but huh but there is uh, some hidden connector somewhere so I will be able to just I don't know connect it uh, uh, up through up somehow but it, that's one of the parts you need really to have your eyes peeled okay so it's this so we need to get it somehow in here So, where it can be? I don't see it anywhere on the walls. Okay, let's take a little drink. Okay. So, the red is from here or from there. Let's, let's go furthest away, because in some cases it might be a reason to do it and we have a but well again this is something to do with the actual names of the levels above all that so it might uh, ring a bell for us 
So let's actually turn off the laser beams so it's not disturbing us. So we are here. The stuff we need to connect is uh, somewhere over there. And we need a red one, so red one. But really, I have no idea. Maybe it's on one of the trees? It's really hard to aim it properly. What? 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 Okay. Wow. And that was... Lucky. <clears throat> so now I can go out. Holy crap! Really? It's... Oh yeah, you can barely see that in there. Oh. Yeah, I'm kinda sad that I did not saw it. Like saw it. But actually there is no way I could saw it just by... Well, maybe after some time. And now I should be able to... Just... Connect it like this. Yeah. Awesome. We have a star. So, is it everything? Let's check the signpost downstairs. Yep, it's everything. So, let's go back. Uh, let's unlock the box piece. We'll see what it will give us. And at least some uh, sigil solving you will see in here. Okay. Uh, um. I uh, know. Uh. No. Oh, there we go. So we unlock the box. And it really looks like a box. Okay, and I can also unlock the A, which I should have done uh, previously in previous episode, but I forgot about it. So we can do it in here. And this is the way out, so let's, oops, let's just solve it quickly. We don't have time to spare. There we go. These little ones, they are quite simple. Okay, I guess this leads to, yeah, it looks like this leads to another, uh, another number of birds. And here there are mysteries in my garden. Is the hidden, hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Yeah. So if we will collect a uh, required number of sigils uh, of stars actually, we can get past this star door. Which is, well, it's kind of a goal, basically, to unlock everything. Yeah. So, I guess that's it. And now I'm just going uh, inside the number four. And I will run around and maybe I will find some easter egg. Because I really think that there is some easter egg in a number four. I, if I read it correctly. So, I'll see you in a bit or in a bit, yeah. All right, so one of the Easter eggs, again, uh, this is a spoilery for you, so 
well, spoilery is pretty much completely everything I'm doing in here, but yeah. So first, one of the first uh, easter eggs uh, is located in here, if you will run back through uh, from the start point of this world. Go down in here, around, and jump across here. And the easter egg is, just careful not to fall down, is over here. Walkie talkie. Shall we play it? Let's play it. Sam, have you reached the Sphinx yet? We've translated one of the lines, but we still don't have a solution. It says the true riddle of the Sphinx has many questions, but only one answer. And if you know the reference uh, to this easter egg, post it down in the comments below, because I know it, because I played that game from which it is. So, yep, that's the first one. Now, on to the second one. Okay, the second easter egg is located quite cleverly. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's findable. Uh, the first puzzle, the push it further, uh, go, just go around it into the back side. And when you are here on the back side, just walk straight off the cliff. Like this. And go like you would go down here, but turn in here and here in this bush is an easter egg. Yay! Easter egg! Okay guys, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I am having a hell, hell lot of fun. And next time we will do number five. Yes, number five. Which will feature the new item we found and it's the box. So, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time in the next episode of the Talos Principle. Take care and bye bye.